Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are looking at a whole list of Rust plugins that will help you monitor your server in game. Preferably, you're spending the least amount of time in game so you can focus on the business side of things. I'll quickly show you how each of those plugins can help you very quickly find players and resolve issues. If there's any plugin that you think I missed, please leave a comment down below. For some of these plugins, we have full tutorials. Those will also be linked in the video description. These are the plugins that we'll be looking at in this tutorial. The timestamps will also be in the video description and in the time bar of this video. First of all, we're going to be using the permissions manager to set up all the permissions for the plugin. We have a full tutorial on the permissions manager and how Rust plugins work permissions wise. First off is night vision. Depending on your situation though, this might not be required. Something that is built into Rust is I can do admin time and then 10, for example, for it to be 10 in the morning. And now for me, for my client, it will be 10 in the morning. If someone isn't admin and for some reason you want to give them access to night vision, but you don't want to give them full admin, of course, use the plugin. Otherwise, the admin time command might be a better option. Next up is Vanish. Pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to go invisible. One side note for the permissions for Vanish is if you don't read it and just click, yep, grant all and go, go back, you might not be able to get out of Vanish. There's a permission called permanent. If you grant that, like the name says, it will be permanent. So if you want to be able to go in and out of Vanish, make sure you don't grant that permission. Once that is done in chat, you can just do Vanish. It tells you you are vanished and it shows you the little icon in the bottom left. This way, players cannot see you and you can just fly around without interfering with any of the actual gameplay. Next up is the player administration. So I'm going to do slash P admin, player admin. We have a full tutorial on this plugin for the context of this video. You can go to online players, see who is online. Once you click on the player, you get a whole list of player information and things you can do and options. You can just go through your online player list while you're in Vanish and then teleport to the player. From here, you can also initiate a spectate. Keep in mind that your active player dies and you need to respawn to get out of spectate. If you're ever stuck in spectate, just press F1 to open up this console. Then when you press enter, your character will just respawn. You can use the player admin to really quickly see who is online, teleport to them to see what they are doing and see if there's anything fishy going on. From here, you can also initiate their permissions directly for that player or view my inventory. As you can see, this is my inventory and this is the plugin showing me what I have. You can also mute, ban and kick someone directly from this menu. So this might be one where you go into initially to teleport to someone, do your investigation and then if needed, come back here again and then ban, mute, kick, whatever. Next up is the admin radar. So let's do slash radar. And it says ESP activated five seconds refresh. That's the default time. Let's say I click on collectibles. It will draw on the screen what is in my range. The range you can see here, 500 meters. This will update every five seconds and it will show you how many is there. So this is 50 wood. This is one mushroom. Where this gets interesting is, for example, when you turn on stash, you can see here, for example, there are some hidden stashes here. Let's say we turn on everything and we set the duration to one second by just doing radar one or let's do radar two, two seconds refresh and let's turn it all on again. You can see then if you're flying around, this will very quickly show you things that you would otherwise never know that they are there. This really allows you to catch things where players try to be smart. For example, they might know that you are able to look at their inventory. They might put stuff in stashes. It's always a cat and mouse game between people who are trying to exploit the server or cheat or whatever, and the people who are trying to make sure that everything is going well. So you have to use all the tools and use them as smart as possible. Look at the documentation. There is a lot more configuring that you can do with the admin radar. Next up is the admin hammer. This plugin allows you to see who owns what structures. So if I do slash B, you can see it tells me this wall is owned by Ted Pommes. You can also do slash admin hammer. You can just right click on things and it will tell you who owns the entity. I would also recommend using some of these Rust commands. If we press F1, 
go to console and type no clip. You can see that we can fly. If we type it again, it disables self-explanatory. What we can do is for example, bind L no clip. And if I now press L, I can fly. If I press L again, it disables. We can do debug camera. This will enable debug camera, allowing me to fly around my character. You can fly into buildings. You can fly under the floor. You can fly everywhere. You can also fly across the map, but things are not actually simulated. Things only actually really work around your character. Hold control, you can rotate the camera, right click, you can zoom in and out really far. If you're trying to spectate something or you cannot see, this might help. And if you completely messed up, then just press R and this will reset the camera for you. Going under their base, so you are close to whatever you're trying to spectate with the camera. So if I now go into a debug camera, I can fly here. If people would be in this base and walking around and doing their thing, it would be easy to spectate this. I'm pretty far away from the outpost and there are no scientists over here. So nothing is being simulated. If I go a little bit closer, you can see that there are scientists. So this is about the range all around me that is being simulated. The point I'm trying to make is the area is pretty big, but there is a limit and you cannot just go in debug camera and fly around the whole map and see what's going on. I hope these plugins can help you solve your in-game issues as quick as possible. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.